Hello everyone. This video is about requesting that Vivi and well yeah, bring back the Vivi bike. Bring back the Vivi V8. That's my request. <laughs> it's a nice size bike. I just put in a I put a um, a backpack on here. And I also put a battery charge uh, for the cell phone. It's just zip tied to the handlebars. That's an umbrella that usually rests down here. I'm just putting it up because I'm working on the bike right now. I just want to say that this is, has the potential to be a really great bike. Um, I really love the suspension on it. It's a small bike, but as you can see, it's not like a micro small bike. I mean, I, it's in the category of, all bicycles are in the category of micro mobility, right? <laughs> but, um, well, look at look this bike up. If you if you want to compare it to something, compare it to the Fido F I I D O L two. That's L, like uh, let's see, love L like love, and then two, the number two, and then Fido replaced that with the L three, which they took the suspension off. But if you look at the Fido L two, just look at pictures. You can get dimensions on this and everything. This is the Vivi V I V I V uh, Z eight. Z8, and if this this bike had, came with a 54 volt, or they call it 48 volt, but fully charged, 54 volts, 20 amp hour battery, great capacity. Um, when we first received the bike, we had to adjust this, so you take this part out and move the spring to a more uh, ten, a more greater tension because the chain was slipping. See, this keeps the chain tight. And the reason that that's there is because this back part has suspension, so because it moves, the chain has to be able to move. But my recommendation, my suggestion, well, I think, let me think of the proper way to say this. I think the proper way to say this is what I would really like to see, because I can't tell anybody what to do, right? I don't even know if I could recommend that someone do something. But I could say, I would really like to see, right? That's more polite to say it that way. Because we want to be polite, right? We want to say things in a polite way. Um, is gears. Gears back here, where we could change the gears. So the famous name for gears is Shimano. And there's many different levels of quality, uh, if I understand correctly. I haven't researched it thoroughly, but I see Shimano back here on almost every, like 99% of electric bikes. The reason I would like to see that, or to see gears here on the back, on this size bike, and let me see what size wheels these are. At the moment, I'm not recalling the size of the tire. Let's see if we can find that. Okay, it's a 14 inch by 1.95 inches wide. That's, I like this size rim very much. And I also like that there's solid rubber tires available for that size rim through Ollie Express. Um, when I started getting into the bigger tires, I didn't realize this because if you look at large tires, like the 20 inch by four inch, they show the tires on a rim. And I thought I was looking at solid rubber tires, but I'm just looking at tires. <laughs> so it was really, I had to really understand that because I actually could not locate any solid rubber tires for a 20 by four inch tire size, which what I would really like to see is a honeycomb tire, which has the cutouts inside, which allows the tire to move, to flex when, it, when you're riding. And they also have different, if I say hardnesses, where it can resemble a certain tire pressure, which is very good, right? What if you get a solid rubber tire that resembles the tire pressure of your preference? So let's say it resembles a 45 pound uh, pressure or a 50 pound pressure or a uh, or even a 90 pound pressure if you want that uh, really really hard uh, you know the feel of that if you like that feel um, but most importantly is the ability for me is the ability for it to absorb the road right which is part of the reason I like suspension on, on electric bikes so uh, I would like to see this bike, can cease to see Vivi come out with a new version of this. I hope they do. And I hope it still has suspension. I hope it has gears back here, because that would be great. I think the motor's perfect. 
because it lasts so long. I mean, I've literally ridden this bike for like 12 hours all day riding it. And that's with me giving very little pedal input, just kind of just moving my legs, not really pushing hard. And um, I don't know what speed that would be. I guess that would be around 10 miles an hour, just approximately. So a slow speed, but the battery just, I still had two bars left after riding the bike for um, more than 80 miles. So when they say 65 miles estimate, estimated, and I think that's on pure electric, I think it could definitely do that. But remember, what's important is the, the watt hours, the overall watt hours. But I look at the amp hours and the voltage. I like to look at those numbers. I like a high voltage battery. So that's another thing that I would like to see is 54 volts is great and it's very popular. But the higher voltage is the less amps that the motor will take, right? So less heat. Amps is heat. Amps is resistance. So I would like to see close to 100 volts. I would like to see 96 volts. 94 volts, 100 volts, 104 volts. It could even be more than that. And then just, t then, then through the controller, program the speed down, right? We don't have to use all that. But then if the rider wants to use that power, they can maybe they can program it to use the power. So, 14 inch rims, one piece alloy rims. I like those, so I, I would like to keep that, keep the alloy rim design, not the spokes, the, the thin wire spokes. These just don't bend easy. They just do not bend easy. I've never bent a one-piece alloy rim. I know it can happen, but I've never bent one myself. But every single bike I've owned that had spokes, after a short time period, the rim was always moving. It would wobble. And I know that can be adjusted. That's a maintenance item. But I prefer zero maintenance, or as close to zero maintenance as possible. Or we could just say low maintenance. So um, that's the reason I like one piece alloy rims. They're zero maintenance. So uh, whatever material those are now, it's some kind of metal, I think. I like that. But any material would probably be good, as long as it was strong. Okay everyone, so this video is just saying that I really like this bike, the size of it, and I, I think it has great potential, so I hope that, um, I was told, Vivi wrote me and I wrote them inquiring about when this bike would be in stock again, because a lot of people ask me about this bike, and when I tell them that it was around $500, they can't believe it, they think these bikes cost thousands, they think this costs thousands, right, because there are electric bikes that cost thousands of dollars, um, they want one immediately, so... I asked the company, and first they said 30 to 60 days, and then when I asked them a third time, because I wrote them, I checked with them again after a month or two, the third time I wrote them, they said the bike was discontinued, and I think they said to look at the Z9, which looks like a larger bike, uh, but I like this size because it fits on the bike rack really easily. This is the bike rack that I'm using. I don't know the model name of this one, the model name, but it folds down on the sides. And this is where it connects, it connects to, this is where it connects to the car. It's kind of dark over here, but these connect to the bike. There's two of these, one, one for each bike, there's two for two bikes. There's this one and a shorter one. For the, one bike sits close, one bike sits further. See? This is how this looks. It says not to step on this. And it's funny because the first day I used this, a lady walked up to the back of my car and put her foot here and was tying her shoe on this. And I wanted to say something, but I didn't say anything. It was an elder woman. I think she was trying to keep her balance. But um, we're not supposed to stand on these. And this is already maxed out because the max is 65 pounds uh, each bike. And this bike is exactly 66 pounds. So it's one pound over. And I was willing to take that chance because uh, it's only one pound. But to add those two pounds with the two bikes. Now I could take the battery out, and even though the battery does come out on this by unlocking it on the other side, this is the lock here. You turn the key lock, and then you pull the battery out. Um, the battery actually sticks in there. Really, it's a really it's just really, you know, it's a challenge to get it out uh, for me. I have to really pull it hard. 
uh, I usually have to pull it like four or five times um, as hard as I can to get it out. And that's because it's just a real tight fit in there and the plug is very tight too. It's very secure, which is good. These are all good things. Um, but for taking it in and out, it's not the easiest to do, but it will come out if needed. And the seat has to be this to come off too. So you just open this, slide the seat out. But again, since I like the seat just where it is, I don't want to readjust it each time. I just leave the battery in there and I put the whole bike up there. And again, at 65 pounds, or this is 66 pounds, at 66 pounds, it's not very, very heavy. A lot of electric bikes are around 100 pounds or over 100 pounds um, when they have this kind of range. Um, so uh, anyway, this video is just uh, rec actually recommending this size bike, which is the, you can, if you want to look at today's version equivalent of this, uh, you can look at the Vivi site and you can ask them, if enough people ask about the Vivi Z8, that may help them bring it back. But like I was saying, high voltage, this is what I would like to see. Higher voltage, even though the voltage is great, uh, 54 volts is great, right? A lot of, there's there's 36 volt uh, electric bikes out there. I much prefer 54 volts or 48 volts nominal, which is uh, 54 volts, right? Fully charged. So gears, also some choices for gears up here. As many gears as we can have, I want lots of gears. I want to be able to change gears a lot. So as many gears as, as can be placed on there, the highest number would be the best for, to me. And um, what else? I think that's it. Okay, everyone, have a great day. And I hope that this bike becomes available again for all the people that want it. But until then, the Fido makes the, uh, the L3, which is no suspension, but a little bit longer range. I forget the the amp hour, but it's uh, the amp hour might be similar, but the well, I don't know how they did it. It must be a little bit more amp hours. This is 20. They might have a 23 amp hour, which brings the overall watt hours to to a greater number. Okay, everyone, have a great day. Oh, but again, the Fido L3 also does not have gears. They don't have gears yet, so I'm looking for a bike this size that has the gears, or do I have to have someone fabricate? this system, this frame, move it out, maybe make room for gears on this. That's an option. Okay, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.